Thanks for tuning in to Taylor Time. I'm Taylor Baldwin, and with Mother's Day and Father's Day around the corner, we thought it'd be a great idea to show you some unique gift ideas that are not only beautiful, they make you feel beautiful because they're sentimental. So I asked Barbara Wheeler to join us. She's a very talented jewelry artisan and she specializes in some really cool designs. I've been following her for years, but what she really specializes in, how to take unique antique treasures that are sentimental and turn them into modern masterpieces. Welcome, Barbara. I'm so glad you could be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you know I've been stalking you for years. I've, <laughs> ever since I bought my first pair of earrings, look at this, so pretty. Um, I met with her and I've been wearing her jewelry ever since. Absolutely love it. But what I really love is the whole sentimental part yes. of the jewelry making. So why don't you elaborate on that? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, what I've done here, we have a few examples of things that I've, uh, I've taken some old rings that, uh, this is actually a ring, the first ring that my significant other gave me. And um, I basically just took a chain that I had, a broken chain in my jewelry box and I strung the ring on and I, I went ahead and I fastened it with uh, a pearl. But you can go ahead, mother of pearl, you can go ahead and take any other finding or bead that you have lying around your house. And I love that because it reminds you of your significant other, but also your mm -hmm. daughter because it's a mother of pearl. Very sentimental and very chic. I love it. Thank you. Show us what else you have there. This one, actually, we, <laughs> <laughs> Taylor knows the story behind this one. Well, it's cool because this isn't just for women. This is for men as well, Father's Day. So uh, this actually is my ex-husband's ring. He, this is when he won the All-Star Game. And what she did, she, what, you, what kind of chain is this? It's a curb chain, so it's more, sort of more of a masculine chain. I like the curb chain because for women it can be a, a funky or a little more edgy. And it's very modern, very hip, very cool, almost yeah. David Yurman like And then she put tiger eye on this. And that makes it very modern. And so what we're going to do is my little girls are going to give this to their father oh. for Father's Day. Now, he's going to be shocked because I'm sure he's been wondering where this ring has been <laughs> all these years. It's still in my jewelry box. Yeah. But he's going to get it back with a cool chain, yeah. something that he can now wear because there's no way he would wear this. Yeah, right? and it's absolutely. Very cool. Yeah, it's reinvented now. Yeah. Okay. Love and it. then... Let's look at the brooch. So like, you know, a lot of grandmothers and mothers pass down beautiful brooches as well yes. as rings, but show us what you did with that. Yeah, well, the brooch isn't as fashion forward as it used to be necessarily when you, when you wear it as a brooch, although they can be, they're coming back in. But what we've done here, this is such a simple, simple procedure. If you've got a brooch lying around and you have a chain, a broken chain, or you can go out and buy a chain. Um, but what you do is you just get the two ends of the chain open up the brooch, and then you would just slide the, uh, the ends of the chain on. I love it. Yeah, refasten the brooch, and you've got a nice new necklace. We all have broken chains lying around, that's for sure, so this takes care of that issue. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's not a permanent thing. You can always take the brooch back mm. off and wear it as a brooch again if you'd like. And I think we need to reiterate what you have here. So there is no class on these chains. So you can, it's mm -hmm. a good way to then revamp all those broken chains. It's Explain so simple. Explain how you did that. It's so simple. There's actually a tutorial, a tutorial that I've done on YouTube that explains in depth. But basically what you, what you need is uh, some pliers, some clippers, wire clippers, and um, a stone, what we've used here as a tiger's eye. But we have all these other stones here, a turquoise, uh, a little cross. Onyx? That's onyx, black onyx. Beautiful. This is very masculine too. Oh. That would be cool with uh, jewelry. Yep, the pyrite. That's gorgeous. And yeah. then talk about how you could loop it around and make bracelets as well. You could also just use a shorter chain and then a slightly more complicated learning to apply a clasp on one end and then a loop on the other so that uh, because you wouldn't necessarily be able to fit this chain over your hand if you cut it short enough. So you would need to apply a clasp at that point. Um, but it's really just one step further. And you have a tutorial on that as well, right? Uh, not the bracelet, not adding a class, but I do have a tutorial on, on this. And okay. actually, I'll be putting a few more up within the, the coming weeks. So, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, and here's something else you did. So I loved this actually was an earring at one point, and it's solid gold. I lost the other earring. I was devastated because um, obviously gold's expensive. So Barbara turned this into a 
necklace. Mm -hmm. So it didn't go to waste. It's not just sitting in my jewelry yes. box, taking up space. And then she added a little crystal to the end of it and put a chain on it. And I wear it all the time. It's a fashion statement now. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Yeah. What else Absolutely. we got here? So this is so much fun for me, this whole jewelry making. I got so into yes. it. And one of my New Year's resolutions was to take up a hobby. I haven't had a hobby my entire life. I've been working, raising yes. kids, right? <laughs> so I thought, what could I do that my daughters would enjoy so we could do it together and create more bonding time? And it's, yeah. you know, jewelry making. So Barbara's teaching us how to make jewelry. It's really, really cool. I went with her to a gym show, which you would be shocked. A necklace like this in a boutique would cost well over $100. I mean, what? because we found the chain, and these are real gems in the chain, found these little crosses, and we made one for each one of my daughters and myself. Well, I mean, what do you think we pay for just this, like our costs? Oh, uh, this, they sell wholesale at the gem fair, so I think this chain pre-made was around 16 a foot. Yeah. And then the cross, maybe $2. They did it by weight, so precious metals will fluctuate, but... But yeah, maybe two dollars for the cross. And it's so. so beautiful, and it's so elegant, and I love it. My kids will love it. What I really love, and what's uh, even more special to me, especially with Mother's Day around the corner, my daughters are everything to me. But we designed a necklace with a mother bird mm -hmm. on yep. one chain, and underneath it, with a, a second layer chain, are the birthstones of each one of my daughters. Yeah. And I want them close to my heart always. And Mm -hmm. This way, and not only will it be a great fashion statement and beautiful, but it yeah. means something to me. It yes. reminds me of my daughters yeah. every second of the day. Yeah. 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 I'm so happy I met you. Me too. Aren't you happy you. that I stalked you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the type of person, if I like yeah. something, I'm going to go hunt it down and find yeah. it. That's We're good. having fun. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you came on our Taylor Time show. Thank you. And we look forward to our upcoming episodes. She's going to show us how we can incorporate our children with jewelry making arts and crafts where they can yeah. actually make their presents which yeah. is you know that saves us a lot of money if you're making gifts for christmas yeah. and hanukkah and birthdays and whatnot yeah so yeah. we're gonna yeah. look forward to those upcoming episodes yeah i've got some fun projects planned for right the kids. Yeah. and we're gonna make something special something special to give away to one of our taylor time fans and all you have to do is like us on facebook go to our taylor time facebook fan page like us and follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most of all, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you for joining.